Okay, hi everybody, Jamie McGauley, Wilmington Public Works, Tree Division, here today to talk about the importance of um, looking at uh, co-dominant stem trees in terms of risk assessment when you're doing a municipal risk inventory on municipal trees. This is a cross-section of a Canadian hemlock trunk where you can actually see the co-dominant stem beginning. A co-dominant stem tree is basically a tree with two dominant leaders, really one no bigger than the other one, most of the time forming a V-crotch similar to my fingers holding up. Um, so at this point lower than the tree it was one stem and here and here it started to become two stems. And right in the middle where you see this crease, this is known as included bark. And that's a term that uh, is brought up frequently in municipal tree risk inventory control. And, and here's why. This cross-section is a pretty good sample of um, why it's important to look out for included bark. In between these two rings, there's nothing holding this tree together except bark, which really provides no structural control at all. And you can see the two um, co-dominant centers beginning. And as this, you know, at this point, this really looks like one single stem. But in essence, when you cut it open, it's two and this is right where it's starting to begin. So when you have included bark in a tree or essentially a v-crotch in any tree it's important to realize the potential for damage even though that tree may be healthy there could be not a lot of wood holding those two stems together. So that's something that you want to watch out for when um, prioritizing your risk trees in town.